action. Let's bring in Hank Winchester, our consumer investigator. Hank, this is a big issue. Devin, it is a huge issue right now affecting almost 350,000 people across the state, many here in Metro Detroit, people that should be getting their unemployment benefits right now, but everything on hold because of scammers. I've heard your stories. I know thousands of people are incredibly frustrated with the Unemployment Insurance Agency. And attorney Jennifer Lord has heard from you, too. A lot of these people were on the edge to begin with, you know, working minimum wage jobs, barely scratching by. And it has just been so unbelievably sad and frustrating to listen to their stories. Jennifer has been working to help those across Metro Detroit who are stuck right now. Almost 350,000 Michiganders whose benefits are on hold because of identity theft and fraud issues. People like this woman from Berkeley. So, you know, if someone else has used my information to try and open an account, I don't know. And again, it's not like I can call and find out. Besides counseling Michiganders, Jennifer is also investigating the possibility of legal action and believes big changes need to be made right now with the Unemployment Insurance Agency. It is time for a do over. That agency needs to stop talking in constant acronyms, double negatives. These communications need to be clear. Um, there needs to be a whole new round of training. And to those of you still struggling, although it's incredibly frustrating, Jennifer says the best thing you can do is rely on the resources available right now online. That is really your only option. And unfortunately, the reality is, is so many people are just stuck in that position where they are eligible for their benefits, but not getting it because the unemployment insurance agency isn't able to move through the process quick enough to determine who's trying to scam the system and who rightfully should be getting their benefit. The best advice for those of you that still need to communicate with UIA, which you have to do to sort these issues out, is to call on Wednesday or Saturday. Those are the lowest volume days with calls. Also, the chat feature online has been working for the most part for the last week or so, uh, but we understand why so many of you are frustrated right now. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, back to yeah, you. Frustration point boiled over a long time ago.